Hi Keith Wilson here and welcome again to another of my ACT 2010 tutorials. Now this one today has not been planned, it's purely off the cuff based upon the feedback that I recently had from a seminar that I ran. Now it's very very apparent that many standard ACT users have no knowledge of the ways in which you can customize the application. Now today I'm going to show you how to briefly customize toolbars. Now most users tend to stick with the default options available within the application, but ACT really comes into its own once you start customizing it to suit your own requirements. Now this isn't rocket science what I'm going to show you today, but it really, really can increase efficiency within your own particular business, especially if it's rolled out throughout your whole company. So how do you customize the toolbars? Okay, well there's several ways to do it, but by far the quickest way is to simply hover over the toolbars, right click and choose customize. This then takes you into the customize option. Now one thing to bear in mind here as well, I'm currently within the contact detail view. So the toolbars that I'm modifying here only relate to the contact detail view. So I can actually do this process throughout every single mode that's available to me, i.e. the contact list view, the groups view, the companies view, and the calendar view. Literally every single aspect of the program can be modified in respect of toolbars. Okay, I'm not going to any great detail here, but I just wanna briefly show you what you can and can't do. So the very, very first thing that I want to show you is how you remove the standard options that are available to you by default. So here we have the quick print option. And if I single click it with the left mouse button and then right click, I have a shortcut menu that corresponds to that particular icon. Now what I want to do in this instance is actually remove that because that's one of the options that I hardly ever use. Now one other key point that I would like to make here is that the customization of toolbars are user specific. So the settings that you define may be different to that of your colleagues. Okay, let's just remove another one. This option here is the ability to write a letter. So again, I single click it with the left mouse button, right click and choose delete. Okay, now what if I actually wanted to add one of these other options to my toolbar? Well, the majority of options are available to you from within the Commands tab. Now, the options that you have available to you under this Category section simply correspond to the options that you have within the menu along the top. So you see, as you select each category down the left-hand side, The commands in the right hand window here change accordingly. So let's say for argument's sake we wanted to add another option that's available to us within the menu bars to our toolbar. Simply select it from the commands list. Um, let's say add selected to group and we simply drag it using our left mouse button to the relevant location indicated by the I beam and once you're happy simply let go. That option is now available on that toolbar. Now we do have additional parameters that we can define so if I simply click that again with the left mouse button and right click you notice that I've got some additional options here. I can choose to display this toolbar icon simply as an image, which is the default style. I can choose text only or image and text, which in this instance is what option is selected, hence the tick option by the left hand side. Once you're happy with your selection, you can simply click close and that option is now available to you and will remain within the toolbar 
until such time that you decide that you want to remove it. Now that's okay for the basic functionality that you have available within the menu options along the top of the screen. But what if you wanted to take that slightly further? Because what you can do is create custom commands. Now the custom commands option allows you to link to literally any file that exists elsewhere on your system. So what I'm going to briefly show you here is how to add a custom command and link it to a PDF document that currently resides on my desktop. So the process to customize the toolbar is exactly the same as the way I've just shown you. So hover over the toolbar, right click and choose customize. But rather than choosing the commands tab this time, we want to go to the custom commands. Now within this list, you'll, you will always see a roll up of all of the custom commands that you've created. As you'll see in this instance, I haven't created any to date. So let's create a new one. I'm going to link this to a PDF on my document that relates to PayPal. So I'm just going to call this 